All right, so first I'm going to ask for forgiveness on the quality of this video. I'm doing it with my phone just for the sake of speed. Uh, I already added a picture uh, in the post that will show you about the size of this box. Let's go through the box uh, and show you what's in it. So you open the box, it's a fairly large box and it includes a styrofoam cooler. You open up the cooler, you take out all the good stuff and inside, is your shot there it is the magic the magic juice that actually takes care of my psoriasis and has me nearly 100 percent clear uh no lie the rest of the package is filled with ice packs which you can actually use if you wanted to to keep a drink cold on an outing to a park yeah anyway next video here we are again with the actual injector pack and as you can see and again i'm sorry for the quality of the video you can see what the injector pretty much looks like on the outside of the box it is a sealed package so i will use my trusty little kershaw pocket knife to pop that seal which i have done you sit there you open up the box and just like christmas time voila there she is your gift she is a pen she is nice and cold uh, because she has been transported in a box that has a cooler in it and ice packs this is an 80 milligram uh pen they're all the same dosage i think pretty much and it depends on your body size and mass and that'll be up to your dermatologist but uh for me i'm a pretty big guy there is the Lily logo. I'm a pretty big guy. Uh, I get the 80 milligram one. Um, I should say that in the beginning, my first dosage was actually two of these suckers. Um, I did get a little bit of an allergic reaction. Uh, not too much, uh, but a very tiny bit. Uh, and it was burning probably for like two or three days with like a slight rash. But that was only on the first two injections. The next injection was a single injection, uh, which you then take basically after the first two, you take one injection every two weeks for the first few months. And then eventually those two a month get reduced down to one a month. So by the time I got, you know, past my second or third injection, uh, that problem went away. So next video will be uh, probably me injecting it. And I don't know how I'm going to do that, uh, considering I need to hold the phone and also inject this, but we'll show you anyway, or we'll try. Um, I should say that right now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to let it sit for about 35 to 40 minutes before I actually do the injection. Um, I read about this in a forum post somewhere. It is definitely uh, advisable that you take it out of the refrigerator or out of this package and let it sit in room temperature for about 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, the shot does not hurt as much when you do that. So there you have it. Next will be the injection. What's up everybody? Not a YouTuber, not a vlogger, not a video guy. This is not gonna be like top quality. With that said, here I am in the comfort of my own home to show you how to do a Tulsa injection. Now, this is probably like many of the other biologics that you're going to be administrating yourself. I'm cutting my head off. Um, so, anyway, the injector is kind of pretty simple to figure out. Uh, all you have to do is take off the safety cover, which you just basically do by twisting, and voila. So, I know you can't see it probably in there. So, now the needle is exposed inside the injector. That's the step one. Step two is that the actual button that's on the top is locked and you need to turn it to the unlock position. There are two positions, locked and unlocked. Pretty simple. That's your two steps. The third one is probably the most painful, which is really not too bad. Once you let it sit for a little while. I'm still letting this one sit because it's kind of still cold. And I haven't hit that 35 or 45 minute mark yet, but I wanted to get this. So I figured I would show you now. There's a couple places where they recommend that you do the injection. Either in the fatty part of your arm, which I find is a little bit uncomfortable and awkward to do, 
because you're literally doing this and hoping that it's good. I'm a big guy, so forgive me guys and ladies, turn your, turn your heads if you don't want to see this sexiness that is me. Here's, here comes my belly. My doctor recommended that I do the belly. Why does he say to do the belly? Because it's a fatty piece of uh, skin, an area. So it doesn't hurt as much when you're applying. You don't want to do it in the same spot every injection. I typically, what I do is one side, one, 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 um, one week I'll do it this way. The next month I will switch and I will do it on this side. And sometimes depending on how I'm doing, I might just still do it in the upper part of my arm. The way you do it, the apply injection is he recommends that you grab your skin, my dermatologist at least, push up against the skin. I hope this is showing it well enough. And then press the magic button, which again, I'm not going to do yet. So with all that out of the way, the only thing that's left is for this to actually get to room temperature a little bit more. And then we'll pop the magic button. See you in a couple minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is now room temperature. So I'm ready to go. Hopefully you guys are too. So again, if you get squeamish, you might want to turn away. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it on this side this time. So I'm going to show you guys here really close. Again, grab a piece of your skin. I'm sorry, I'm a big guy. You just do that. You push it right up there. You're going to get your finger on the applicator, on the injector. I'm going to step back. And you're going to hear this. I'm pushing the button right now. You hear it clicking. Oh, yeah, I feel it. And then you just heard another click again. As soon as you hear that other click, you let go. Pull it away. Look at that. Really tiny mark right there. Really tiny. Nothing big at all. That's it. That's all. Get taut. I'm telling you, look at my skin. It's clear. My arms were covered with all kinds of rashes all over my chest, all over my back, my scalp, everything. I'm hoping you guys look at me right now and you can tell that I'm a guy who used to have psoriasis, not one that has it. So I guess you always have it. I'm always gonna be taking this at least once a month. So that kind of sucks. But uh, thanks to Eli Lilly, uh, no thanks to my insurance company. Um, I'm covered, but not with plaque. Thanks a lot, everybody. Hopefully this video helped you. Have a great day.